Hi, welcome to our third video about the biological approach to psychology. This is all about the biological approach to gender development. Developing of gender is the process of identifying yourself as masculine or feminine, but the biological approach emphasizes that this is the result of biological processes rooted in genes. For instance, males are almost universally more aggressive in all cultures, which indicates a biological cause. The biological perspective has benefited from the development of PET scans, MRI scans, CT scans, functional MRI scans and so on. An increasing amount of evidence has suggested that male and female human brains are different. This is known as sexual dimorphism. If you think about male peacocks with their gorgeous tails and female peacocks looking brown, this is sexual dimorphism of plumage. Sexual dimorphism of brains in humans seems to be getting increasing evidence. For instance, Hu et al. in 2013 found more metabolic activity in the posterior regions of women compared to men's brains. You can see, again, that I've highlighted the key words that come from this video and the key aspects on your checklist to which this video refers. In everyday life, sex and gender are often used to mean the same thing. But in psychology, sex is a biological term, whereas gender is more to do with how a person thinks or behaves. Sex and gender are often related, but not always. It is possible for a girl to be a tomboy and display masculine behaviours. Similarly, an individual can be male, but display feminine behaviours. Our genetic blueprint has 23 pairs of chromosomes. On the 23rd, males have an XY combination and females have an XX combination. Some people get it mixed up. One way of remembering that my, males have a, an XY combination is to remember that males wear Y fronts. So the reason why men have nipples is that every fetus starts off as bipotential. In other words, it could develop into a male or a female. Unless the Y chromosome is present, it will develop into a female. The presence of the Y chromosome instructs the body to produce androgens. These are male sex hormones. With these set hormones, the gonads develop into testes, and without the hormones, they develop into ovaries. Obviously, gender development continues into puberty. This is when you get your secondary sexual characteristics, such as breasts and hair growth. Unfortunately, there are some genetic conditions that means this is more complicated than it sounds. In Kleinfelter syndrome, the young man has a double XY combination. This can lead to gynecomastia, which is the development of breasts, possible poor language abilities, some learning difficulties, and they can be shy. In Turner syndrome, the young lady has only one X. This can lead to physical differences, such as a wider neck, underdeveloped ovaries, a lack of menstruation at puberty unless they're receiving intervention, poor spatial and math ability. You need to know about the hormones for your exam. Everybody has a brain that seems to be logical, pattern orientated on the left, and creative, imaginative on the right. Our tes testes produce testosterone. This is thought to make males more aggressive and better at maths and spatial skills. The ovaries produce oestrogen and this is thought to make girls better at reading faces and verbal skills. Females also have a bigger corpus callosum joining the two hemispheres together. The effects of hormones on gender-related behaviours can be seen where female athletes have injected themselves with steroids to try and improve their sporting performance. 
as their levels of testosterone have increased, they have reported feeling more aggressive. Similarly, men undergoing gender reassignment may use drugs to raise their oestrogen levels, and there is evidence that they get better at tests of verbal ability, but perform worse on visual spatial ability. Consider a little girl growing up helping her dad fix cars. When she's older, she fixes and races cars for a living. Where has her gender role come from? Could it be learnt rather than biology? In this tribe, both men and women hunt for food. The biological theory does not explain how gender roles change over time or across cultures, despite human biology being the same. In other words, it ignores a social aspect of gender. Here's the menu for our lesson.